Hey, I thought I would tell you about some really important new aspects about Skive and give you a quick overview. It's pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. This is your dashboard where you have some information. These are the new mods. But this right here, PDX Mods, has a really nice new feature. You're going to have to wait for a second for these to load. Now if you scroll down, we're going to look for one that has a problem. This is something that you can't see in game. For example, traffic mod. Unsubscribe. We can click on this and then we can look into compatibility. This is a test version. Be aware that these versions can cause issues. There's just not enough to review the mod, though it's probably okay. Nevertheless, you're going to find some that it says these mods are broken. Here's a good example. Oyan's T-Set mod is broken. Unsubscribe. Now, this is probably the best thing that I think Skype does for you. You can also look at your playsets. This is my playset, the old boar. And I can quickly scroll down through here and see if I have any problems. And I can unsubscribe to those mods before I open my game. Once you go into PDX mods, if you're going to subscribe to any of these new maps or assets, you're going to do that. You can do that here, but you're going to have to wait a few minutes and you can't have your game running. You're going to restart your game if you subscribe to anything in here, just like you would on PDX mods. This is New England Mountains. We're going to subscribe to it. You can see that it's downloading it to my local hard drive. And now if we come over to Playsets and we look in the old bore, it might take a few minutes to update it here. Go down through this alphabetically and here we have it, New England. Now my City Skylines game is not running. Once I start City Skylines, I will have this new map available to me. Now packages are everything. That's code mods, map themes, assets, maps, everything. Mods are just code mods. Assets are just assets. All of the rest of these are enabled. These are maps that I'm looking at to start a new city. You can also look at your compatibility report. Here we have the dependency pack is broken. The GUI is broken. Now I have unsubscribed to these. It's very helpful. I also like the fact that I can get into this a lot quicker than I can in the game. And I can look to see the new maps that are available. You can also sort and filter. So that's about it. You want to go down here to utilities. There's some things you can do in here, but it's all pretty self-explanatory, like I said. So thanks for watching the old boar. Take care now.